hi, I'm here to help you go over the break. So technically going over the break on the clarinet is when um, like the actual break itself is going from your pincher B flat to B natural. So you're going from using very few fingers to using all your fingers. And that can be challenging. Um, something that I know you're already working on is walking down the clarinet. So starting on your low G and then going down to your low E and then pressing the register key. And that's a great way to start practicing how to go over the break. Some things to keep in mind though. Sometimes those low notes don't speak or they sound like you're, you have to work like really hard to get them out. But most of the time when that happens, it's because our fingers aren't covering the tone holes completely. So even if there's just a little bit of air leaking, then those low notes aren't going to speak. And then that makes getting that B natural with our register key um, even harder to speak. So that's something to keep in mind. So walking down the clarinet, this is what that sounds like. I'm gonna start on a low G. So I want you to notice something. When I do that, nothing moves. I mean, technically my fingers do, but they move a very small distance. So my embouchure is not moving. It stays nice and firm with a flat chin. I have super fast air and I'm not wiggling around when I play, right? I'm staying nice and still. All right, nothing changes except for the fingerings that your fingers are playing. Everything else stays the same. You still have super fast air. You still have a firm embouchure. You don't need to change anything about what you're playing, okay? So if you have those things set, then getting over the break should work. There's going to be another short video about um, how to help yourself press down the register key and be successful with it. Um, if you are gliding through and you can play those low notes really well, like just without walking down, you can just get a low E out no problem, then you can just start on your low E and then press the register key. If you are feeling really good and you're getting that B natural out really well, then you should try to just get that B natural out by itself. If you get to that point, that might be a ways away, and that's fine because it takes us a while to get this right on as clarinet players. Um, a way to get your fingers used to playing those notes. So you start on that long B and then you go down to your pincher B flat with your A key and your register key. This is what that sounds like. And then you would stop and you would try that again, starting on your B natural. Those are great exercises to do to get yourself playing over the break. And it's really important to remember that 99% of the time, if notes aren't speaking, it's usually because we're trying to do something with our mouth when we shouldn't, or we aren't closing, uh, we aren't covering the tone holes completely and some air is leaking out. Okay, so those are just some things to look out for. I hope that was helpful.